This is Sophie Tran with the Garden Grove TV3 News Report. Today in the city of Garden Grove, on Euclid Street, a street name has been changed. Hundreds of Garden Grove residents came out today to witness the unveiling of a statue of Emperor Guangzhou. Some might ask, who is Emperor Guangzhou and why does he get a street and statue in Garden Grove? Through an eye-catching performance, the students of Tian'an Performing Arts transported us back in time to witness the vibrant history of Vietnam in the late 1700s, when Emperor Guangzhou bravely reunified the country and victoriously fought off foreign invasion. Today's ceremony is a testament that Emperor Guangzhou's victories continue to resonate through centuries and generations of Vietnamese people, especially those on the Statue Committee. Among organizers was the city of Garden Grove's Mayor Pro Tem, Fat Bui. We want to remind us of the heritage that will hopefully instill in us the sense of patriotism to the United States uh, and continue to contribute to the economy and the safety of our nation. Along with over 300 other private contributions from residents and businesses, one of the biggest donations came from the landlord of the Euclid Retail Center, who gave a large cash donation and the land for the statue at a greatly reduced rent. Emperor Guangzhou, on behalf of the city of Garden Grove, in appreciation for the landlord of this shopping center, we would like to present this old street sign to Mr. Vương Đinh Vũ. We've been here over about 23 years. We own the shopping center here. We are always thinking about how we can do something for the community, especially for all the Grand Grove citizens. The importance is it commemorates a sense of place here in Little Saigon that um, celebrates our Vietnamese heritage. The Emperor Guangzhou statue and street is expected to become a must-see landmark for visitors coming to Little Saigon bringing in tourism revenue to the city of Garden Grove. The statue is located on Euclid Street between Westminster Boulevard and Hazard Avenue. This is Sophie Tran reporting. <laughs>